everybody, Demo here, and today I have another exciting egg video again. I told you in the last video, look, I am likely not going to do any more of these until new eggs come out. Just for the simple fact that older eggs are a lot more difficult to come by. But luckily, I have a friend of mine that has a lot of eggs, and he was willing to part with a couple fossil eggs for a couple of my low tier megas. So it wasn't a big deal for me. I still got a couple of my megas, of course, I will never trade. My Mega Bat Dragon. <laughs> anyway, so, because of that, I am able to do a fossil egg video, which is super duper exciting, because the fossil egg is actually one of my favorites. I really like the fossil egg. I think they've done such a good job with it, and I love anything and everything to do with dinosaurs, so I'm very glad that I was able to procure these and, you know, get all of them ready to hatch together. I think it's a great idea. So, if you don't know how these videos work, hi, my name is Demo, nice to see you, welcome through, well, welcome on in. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so what I do is I procure a hundred eggs, and then I hatch them all, and at the end of the video, I'll go over how many I hatched of each, as well as making them all neon. I already have every single pet in Adopt Me Neon, but I always like having extras for trading purposes. So, if we go down to F real quick, in the alphabet, I suck at the alphabet, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, so, Fossil Isle, um, <clears throat> yes, sorry, <laughs> Fossil Isle, I keep forgetting, anyway, so, I show off every single pet, but then I don't show off the neons until I make them myself, because it gives a nice little surprise for both of us, mostly because I don't remember what most of these look like neon, and I don't like spoiling myself, so we have the common Tasmanian tiger, we have, were there two commons in this egg? Yes, the common Grand Sloth. And then we have the uncommon Stegosaurus, the uncommon Galiptodon, the rare Pterodactyl, the rare Woolly Mammoth, the... Oh wait, the Triceratops is uncommon. My fault. <laughs> the ultra-rare Sabertooth, the rare Dilophosaurus, the ultra-rare Dinochus... Dino Boy. <laughs> And the legendary dodo bird and the legendary T-Rex. I think the dodo bird gets pretty decent trades and I think the T-Rex does also. So hopefully, even if I don't decide to keep these, when I if I get extras, I will still be able to trade them for whatever I need. So, let me know in the comment section below before the second half of this video starts how many of each you think I will get and what you think I will get the most of. Recently, I've been getting a lot more uncommons and rares than I have common so i'll be interested to see if that happens again in this video again let me know what you think down below and let's get into this okay so i finished hatching all of these dined uh fossil eggs and uh, let's go over what we got in the end i had really bad luck i can't lie to you i had very very bad luck with these eggs and you're gonna see how bad that is so first off tasmanian tigers which is one of the commons i ended up only getting six of these which i was actually pretty surprised over so let's make our neon one uh two three four actually like the tasmanian tiger neon i think they did a really nice job it's simple but it's pink and pink is a really great color i really like the color pink okay i like it and that means I now have four Neon Tasmanian Tigers. I'm not going to make it Mega. You guys know I don't make Megas. That's just not something I like to do. Uh, but the Ground Sloth is next. So let's go Ground. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a Groundhog. Um, I ended up getting ten of these. Which again, isn't too bad for a common. So let's put it in. One, two, <clears throat> three, four. I'm trying to hold in my coughs. If you guys don't know, I have tonsillitis at the moment. And I'm coughing non-stop so i'm holding in the best of my ability so i don't rub to your eardrums the ground sloth is another really good one i like how you hold it you hold it like a little baba or like a little baby it's so cute and it's blue i like the color blue which is always a great one next we have the triceratops i ended up getting eight of these so let's go try triceratops yeah i ended up getting eight of these which is again not too bad at all and now i still have four more so if i end up wanting to make another neon i can do that I can do that! Again, I really like the Triceratops. I like the green. Like, here we go. Let's let's showcase it together. Like, this is amazing. It kind of reminds me... I used to go to Blackpool all the time as a kid, and it reminds me of the Blackpool Illuminations, which, if you don't know what that is, it's like a little light thingy they do. Like, they put up loads of lights, and there's little displays and stuff, and I think they are really, really cool. And it kind of reminds me of that. 
Next is the Stegosaurus. So let's go Stego. I ended up totaling getting 10 of these, which again, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Three, four. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. I don't remember what this one looks like. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, it's yellow with orange on the back. Okay, this is actually really cool. I think this one looks great. Okay, next is the Glyptodon. A lot of people really like this pet because it's like pink. Like this, look at this bad boy. Um, I ended up getting 15 of the Glyptodons. I've got to put this away. Get away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. So beautiful. Glyptodon. Again, a lot of people really seem to like the Glyptodon. Uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I still think it's a cool pet regardless, you know? Next is the Woolly Mammoth. Um, I ended up getting seven of these. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And it means I can almost make another Neon if I want to trade for them. Because, honestly, they're not too difficult to find in terms of trading. So, I can easily come across them. No problem at all. A lot of people pretty much give these things away. I think they're cute though. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his little fish. Look at his little fish. Okay, the next one is the Dilophos Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Yes. Okay, Dilophosaurus. I also ended up getting seven of these. So, Dilophosaurus 1. The Lophosaurus 2, the Lophosaurus 3, and the Lophosaurus 4. And then I have 8 more in case I ever want to make another Neon. Probably not, just because, again, I use them as extras for trades. This is a really cool one. Too. Look at the little face! Look at the little face! Okay, so next is the Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. In total, I ended up getting... 13 of the pterodactyls. I think this was one of my highest pets that I ended up getting. I got a lot of pterodactyl in the end, and I also still have eight left, so I can make two more neons if I so wish. But again, I just use them as extras in trades, you know? Oh, I actually think this one looks really cool too, though. Look at it. Look at that purple. I think it just suits it quite a lot. <clears throat> I'm trying to hold in this cough. Next is the saber tooth. So saber. I love saber tooths. They're actually one of my favorite extinct animals. Um, saber tooths. I ended up getting eleven of these. So one, two. Yeah, they're actually one of my favorite extinct animals, if not my actual actual favorite extinct animal. Um, I really think they're so darn cool, or at least they were so darn cool. <laughs> He's so pretty. I like his teethies. Look at his teethies. Look at the teeth. Sorry. He's so cute. Uh, the next is the deny. This. This one. <laughs> um, I ended up getting 12 of these. So one, two, three. Excuse me. Four. Let's go. I think she's making neons as well. Let's go. I wonder what she made neon. No idea, but here he is. He's red. Oh, he's a bunny. No, that bunny has tassel done already. I have no idea. Look at his little teethies as well. Ah, oh, so cute. Uh, here is where it gets very, very disappointing. Um, Dodo, I ended up having to trade for all of them because I hatched none of them. I hatched no Dodos in 100 fossil eggs. No Dodos at all. I'm just like... How is that possible? How is that theoretically possible? But it's okay, because I like the dodo. People want to say it overpays for them. For some odd reason, I don't know why. Um, but they are very cute when they're neon, so I don't mind too much. Uh, and here's where it gets bad. <clears throat> here's where it gets bad. T-Rex. I hatched a one. You heard that right? I hatched, I hatched one. So in a hundred fossil eggs... I had one legendary. That's how bad my luck was. It was so bad. Luckily, people didn't want insane overpays for the T-Rex, so that one wasn't an issue, but the Dodo definitely was. Like, ah, oh, the luck this egg was so bad. <coughs> the luck this egg was so bad, but it's okay because I got all of the pets done, which now brings my neon total up to, excuse you, 
649, one away from 650, which is so crazy to me. I think, I'm just so happy with it. Where does she keep coming back here? She keeps teleporting to her house and then keeps coming back. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what your favorite pet out of this egg is. And remember, when talking in the comment section below, that kindness creates kindness and just be kind to one another. Okay, especially in the comments because no need for toxicity around here, okay? Okay, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.